All right, welcome to part two of my Batman movie series idea. At this point, I'll just be reading from the cliff notes since there was no scripts for the other ones. But before I start, I should acknowledge that I made a mistake in the last video. In the, the, in the end of the last video, I got tongue-tied for like a second, um, I talked about one of the Riddler's traps. Now, I made the trap sound a little bit more simple than it's eh, a little bit more simple and less Riddler like and also I screwed up saying that it was a comp that Riddler captured while it was actually the mayor now the trap would be like this the mayor would be captured and put into a building booby trapped and you know surrounded by bombs if the mayor tried to escape it would blow up and he would have to choose to kill two men where their families would be watching now the families um would be watching, but only by a, um, you know, bulletproof glass. And once uh, the mayor shoots one of these men, and he has to do it, or Riddler will shoot his wife, um, you know, he can, like, take one of the keys, and uh, which would be released, and free one of the families. And it can only be one of them, because if he chooses two, he'll shoot his wife. Um, which uh, the wife actually, at some point, does say, you know, uh, save all of them, but Riddler says, oh, no, okay, if you do that, I'm putting guys on a time limit, and you only get 10 seconds, and you have to choose. So, yeah, Riddler, uh, really does not like to lose in this one. And Batman would end up saving him, um, by getting into the building and avoiding the traps. And, um, you know, that's how the trap was actually going to work. But on to the third film, which I call Batman and Robin. Um, and here, uh, as, it, as the title says, Dick Grayson would make an appearance. Uh, Dick Grayson would be about 14 years old, and um, the Robin suit would be an armored version, uh, well, more armored version of uh, the classic outfit, kind of like the one in Batman Arkham City. This would also be the first appearance of Lucius Fox, who built Batman more advanced gear, like the Batwing. The uh, main villain would be Tony Zuko and Two-Face, uh, who work together because they want to both take down Rupert Thorne. Um, you see, Rupert Thorne um, is one of the last crime families running Gotham, uh, besides Tony Zuko. Because, you know, all of them have been fighting for power since Ionis was defeated. There are mentions of the Falcones, which Thorne uh, took down. And um, when one of Thorne's men tries to kill Harvey, uh, after um, Harvey, you know, gets the acid thrown to his face by another one of Thorne's men, uh, Harvey freaks out, knocks, him a, uh, knocks this guy out, and leaves him with a bomb that was in a suitcase, which explodes and kills him. Um, along with many others, and supposedly Thomas Elliot. But by the end of that film, we would see that Thomas Elliot is still alive and is planning for to take down Bruce Wayne, um, which has been foreshadowed through the whole um, through the last uh, two films. Now, Two Face in here would, as I said before in the um, last um, video, Two Face will be a lot like the one from the. Um, Batman animated series with a split personality, um, and, uh, he does capture Batman and does do the really awesome thing I liked, um, that he did in Nightfall, um, have a, a trial and Harvey Dent is defending Batman while Two-Face is it, while the big bad Harv side is against it. Um, Batman tries to help Harvey, but kind of realizes that Harvey is way too far gone, uh, when Harvey actually murders Rupert Thorne um, in front of everyone on national TV. Um, this would also be the first appearance of the Batwing, created by Lucius Fox, and the um, and also, you know, a more advanced Batarang, uh, like bombs and remote control Batarangs, kind of like in Batman uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. The second film would be Batman, well, well, before I get into, not second film, but whatever, I forgot, yeah, there would also be a Nightwing spinoff right after this. Now, this spinoff would take place four years after um, the third film, and Dick Grayson would be in Bloodhaven um, in college. 
And uh, his roommate would be Jean-Paul Valley, and he would also meet Barbara Gordon, who would not be Batgirl in here. I would make her a lot like Max from um, the Batman Beyond series, where she can kick ass, but she pr kind of prefers um, being like the hacker. She does wear a Batgirl, a uh, Batman mask, um, near the end of the film. I remember I wanted to do that uh, when she finds out where the villain's hideout is. And as for the villains, uh, the main villain would be Calculator, and uh, he'd be controlling two villains who are performing crimes, uh, which Nightwing at first see thinks um, are separate, but um, as he learns, are a part of something bigger. Now, I didn't write down who these two villains are. Like, I know one of them was going to be a series of murders, so I think it was either going to be Zaz or Brutal. Um, I think it would work more with Brutal, because Zaz isn't really in it for money, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm making it brutal. As for the other guy, I don't remember. I didn't say what crime the other guy was going to be. I think it was like bank robberies. Um, so maybe I'm like Blockbuster. Um, but yeah, Calculator would be the main villain. Um, and there would be some connection to the next film, which is called Batman Gotham. Or Batman has found a way to make Gotham safer. Um, he created a security system, which would be Brother Eye and... Um, you know, everything seems to be good, and, like, Batman doesn't really need that much. Like, he does show up in Bloodhaven uh, several times to help out Nightwing when Nightwing really needs the help, which is shown when Nightwing calls Batman to help deal with the Mad Hatter, who uh, I was actually going to play. Um, and uh, how I was going to portray the Mad Hatter was pretty much like in uh, uh, Batman Arkham City. Like, very creepy, very disturbing, but you can kind of see is also kind of cowardly. Um... And what he would do is um, just uh, start murdering girls named Alice, but because they are, like, you know, not perfect. Like, he kidnaps them first and then kills them, but he only, it but takes a few days before they find them. Uh, the first girl has a scar on her leg. The other one um, has a lazy eye. Um, and the third girl, he, we learn later, has a filling, um, has a filling which Mad Hatter notices uh, while having tea with her. And uh, he wouldn't be like a hypnotist. I wouldn't make him like, he wouldn't have full-blown mind control technology. I would kind of make it a little bit more uh, realistic here. Um, and his henchmen would be Twill D and Twill Dumb. And um, the other henchmen would just be guys in red and white, red outfits and another one in white outfits, resembling the Queen of Hearts um, card soldiers and the White Queen's um, chess uh, chess soldier soldiers. I don't know how that why that was so hard to say. Um, but yeah, like I really want. But yeah, like I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to play Mad Hatter in this one. Um, because I have um, I remember having a lot of fun like thinking about you know what they can do with a character that has like a lot of short time. But the main villain would be um. Uh, Joker and Hush, who start causing chaos in Gotham, and Batman's kind of wondering how the hell Joker is, you know, doing all this without Brother Eye detecting him. And we learn that there was somebody in the inside, which all results with Joker destroying Brother Eye and the security system now gone. Um, Nightwing eventually finds out where Hush is, uh, who has revealed that he is Thomas Elliot, that he murdered his mother, all that stuff, and um, that he has you know, altered his face to look more like Bruce Wayne to the point where, uh, he has, he even has Bruce's fingerprints. Um, so, yeah, like, he went the extra mile in here, and also says he's always known that Bruce Wayne has been Batman. Um, by the end of the film, uh, Batman would take down Thomas Elliot, uh, scar his face, uh, so there would be no possible way people would think that he is Bruce Wayne, um, and before, when Thomas tries to, you know, say that Bruce Wayne's Batman, Bruce Wayne shows up, and Dick Grayson shows up as Batman, uh, you know, uh, lip-syncing recordings that Bruce uh, planned to do when he, um, he first heard that Thomas was, pro uh, was going to reveal who Batman was. Um, now, how Joker is going to be portrayed would be um, kind of like the Joker from um, Batman and Robin Volume 3, a dark, you know class uh, artsy joker um which i thought was pretty fun um 
like, he would do some really, he would have, like, this, uh, really savage side to him, though, uh, but he only shows it, uh, near the end of the film. Now, on to the next one, which would be called, um, Nightwing Dumas, and, um, um, I'm pretty sure just by saying that you know who this who this be based on. It'd be based on Azriel, and it'd be pretty close to the comics. Um, Jean Paul Valley's father shows up in the Azriel costume, revealing that Jean Paul is you know part of an order known as the Order of Saint Dumas, and that he will become their new assassin, Azriel. Um, and the villains that would show up in here would be. Um, Leah, and also a cameo um, of Basil Carlo. To people who don't know who Basil Carlo is, Basil Carlo is um, Clayface. And it'd be, you know, like the Clayface from the Golden Age with the, um, you know, green mask made of clay and killing people, not the giant shape-shifting goo monster. Um, but yeah, it'd be pretty straight from the comics, except it would be Nightwing instead of Batman. Um... And it would lead to an Azrael spinoff, but um, but not before the final Batman film, Batman Cataclysm, where um, Batman is presumed dead, um, and you know Nightwing actually takes the mantle of Batman and tries to take down the villains that uh, say took uh, that that say killed him, White Ghost and Firefly. Um, now, Firefly is a hired, um, you know, gunman, well, gunman, like, he, uh, he's more focused on explosives, and he has no idea what White Ghost's big plan is, um, but they play him off like he's a mastermind, while in reality, he, he's just a guy who wants to see frickin' shit blow up, um, his costume would be a lot like the costume from Batman Arkham City, um, not Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, because I really like that design, it looks, um, you know, very realistic, and I just like it. Um, we'd find out that Bruce Wayne has been uh, in a coma for two months, and uh, the per people that have been caring for him has been Ra's al Ghul and Talia al Ghul, who say that, oh, we're just, you know, people like you who want to bring justice to the world. Uh, will you help us? And Bruce Wayne's like, yes, until he finds out that Lady Shiva is uh, working for them. And was only working for Black Mask to, um, you know, gain weaponry. And, um, you know, Bruce Wayne then afterwards tries to find a way to get back to Gotham without any money and, you know, no food or anything. or Like, no resources whatsoever. Uh, there would also be a subplot involving Tim Drake, who would be first introduced in a flashback uh, where Batman and Robin were taking down uh, a Grant Morrison villain, actually, Le Basu, um, the Hunchback. And uh, we see that many years later that Tim Drake is now an orphan. Well, he w always was an orphan. Like, um, he was never, like, his dad was never really in the picture. Um, but yeah, he was an orphan, and uh, he's actually found out who Batman is for a long time now. Uh, but he doesn't really do much until he finds out that... Um, you know, Firefly is, um, well, Firefly and White Ghost are planning something big and wants to tell Dick Grayson, who he knows for the fact is not the real Batman. Um, it all result with, um, Tim Drake becoming, uh, Robin and, um, you know, Bruce Wayne returned to Gotham, which is now in, like, freaking chaos. Like, it's, it's gone to hell. Um, trying to take down Ra's al Ghul, White, Ghost, Firefly, and Talia, uh, and Lady Shiva. Uh, Talia would go through a story arc where she eventually starts to believe that maybe, um, like, you know, she shouldn't kill people, and that uh, the ways of the League of Shadows it, um, are just wrong. And it just all results with her, you know, betraying her father and joining Bruce. Um, there would also be cameos from other Batman villains, like, I remember Joker... I want Joker to save Batman, saying that, you know what, there's no way I'm going to let you die, because if you die, I have no one to play with. So, you know, yeah, we'd have stuff like that. Uh, but that would be the end of the Batman series. Um, the uh, final film, though, um, 
in the series would be an Azrael story. Where Azrael it has been taking care of Bloodhaven since Dick Grayson and got, Dick Grayson um I somehow screwed that one up. Seriously. Um I've been tongue tied for months now. Um and um you know, he's taking over Bloodhaven since Dick Grayson is a little busy trying to um you know, fix up Gotham after the last film. And um, the main villain in that film would be Anarchy. And we would have cameos from villains like uh, Lord Kraken, um, another Grant Morrison character, and um, Wrath, who, uh, to people who don't know, is kind of the anti-Batman. And uh, that's kind of about it. Um, and so, you know... If you, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think this is a good idea? Um, would you have liked to see this actually be done in a film? Um, comment on what you would also do if you were doing a Batman film. And that's all I gotta say. Goodbye.